Everybody has their place in life. And if I'm counting, I probably reincarnated like 30 times this year. It'll either be no more or more of that old school debaucherous me. Because as we all know, cancer's the answer, tumor's the rumor, it all spreads very quickly. So when in doubt, cut it out. You probably also remember I took the train to school and I learned recently when you lick your lips on the train, you get cancer. Everything, everyone, everywhere. That's where it all comes back to. If there's one thing that's consistent, that is. And I know I'm very inconsistent. It's not a very desirable trait to society. I'm not a holistic person in real life either. When I was growing up, let me tell you, home invasion and robbery town when I was little, you know this place is full of strip malls, gas stations, car washes, chapels, and litter. If there's bulletproof glass, it's not a restaurant. But I like that. That. These places are run down, but it looks like that because of years of operation and it's still standing. It's nostalgic to me and it really calls attention to the power dynamic that I enjoy exercising the most. Knowing there are high schoolers cutting class, breaking into rich people neighborhoods not that far from here while the family's out because they're too cheap to get a house sitter. Nothing makes me happier knowing they're giving back to the community whether they like it or not. I like grocery stores that have those old broken tile floors from the 90s when they first opened and then when you go to the back of the store, it's just flickering or dim fluorescent lighting they didn't bother to fix for years. And the produce section has hanging fly tape and those giant house flies and you're hoping every time you pick something up you weren't gonna uncover things that started running everywhere. And it's just, here's our stuff, buy it if you like the price, don't come in here if you can't handle the old world. And the customers are old immigrant parents and grandparents born between the 30s and the 70s. Because you know for a fact, it's not it's not just wasteful to decorate a lease space with stuff that's going in the trash to be replaced by the next tenant. It drives up the prices because look at our operating costs. Doesn't that make you want to pay a premium? It's just a sort of entitlement by the business itself as an excuse to make people pay more. It has to look comfortable and the more sanitized it is, the more squishy the owners are for brain dead, talentless, cuddled youths who ruin every single space they inhabit. Before that, kids just died when they were allergic, as God intended. And I know, I technically shouldn't be complaining because my mom taught me from a young age to scam all different types of businesses, whether they were new or old. When I was homeless a few years back, and you can try this yourself too, if you go to a downtown of the closest major city with nothing but a dead phone and no money for even the metro, and a throw rug or chopped meat hair and dried out riverbed lips, you'll witness what class of people we see on cops that are eating squirrels. Which, even if they had property, would probably just dump it until there was nothing but these decomposing carcasses like three layers deep. And with your property taxes, you're paying for this holocaust of squirrels because with all of that subsidized nature, their bloodlines just don't end. And you guys are never gonna remember Cannibal Day. You will never know what people are until you talk to them. But I am a man of a million faces. You'll never get to know everyone I've ever eaten. I hope to see you next time on You Can't Say That Monday.